Hello students. Now we are going to solve the second problem under the topic non-exact differential equation. The question here is solve e power y plus x e power y dx plus x e power y dy equals 0 by finding the integrating factor. Now if we observe the given equation is of the form m dx plus n dy equal to 0. We can actually easily solve this equation by dividing this equation throughout by x e to the power of y. So when we divide so, we can easily separate the terms by variable separable method and we can solve this equation. Or the resulting equation after dividing by x e power y will be an exact equation and we can easily solve it. But now here in this question they are asking us to solve it by finding the integrating factor. So now because they have asked us to find the integrating factor and then solve this equation we will be doing so. So let us see that now. For that first we will check the exactness of this equation. We know that em is equal to e power y plus x e power y and n is equal to x e power y. So dou m by dou y will be equal to e power y plus and the differentiation of this will be x e power y because x will be treated as constant and the differentiation of e power y is e power y only and dou n by dou x. So we are differentiating this with respect to x partially with respect to x. So the differentiation of x is 1 and so we get e to the power of y. So we observe that dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. So because this is, this is a non-exact equation, let us find the integrating factor now. For which first we will check uh, the rule number 1 that is P is equal to 1 by capital N multiplied by dou M by dou Y minus dou N by dou X. So let us uh, find P. So P is equal to 1 by N is X e power Y. So X e to the power of Y multiplied with dou M by dou Y is this. So e power Y plus x e power y minus dou n by dou x is e power y and so we see that these two gets cancelled and that will be equal to x e power y divided by x e to the power of y and so these two gets cancelled and the value of p is equal to 1 and because p is equal to 1 this is independent of y so independent of y and hence the um, integrating factor u will be equal to e power integral p dx which is equal to e power integral dx and so that's equal to uh, integral dx is x so e power x so therefore the integrating factor u is equal to e power x so now we have found this now what we have to do we have to multiply this integrating factor uh, so we have to multiply this in equation 1 that is the given equation. So let us mark this given equation as equation 1. So if we multiply this equation throughout by e power x what do we get? We get it as e power x e power y plus x e power x e power y dx plus now here we will be having x e power x e power y dy is equal to 0. Now if we check in this, uh, we have found the integrating factor. Now after this we can uh, divide this equation throughout by e power x e power y and then we can, uh, I mean uh, we can throughout divide by x e power x e power y and we can gather the x terms separately and y terms separately and we can divide it by variable separable method or we can also again do it by the, uh, by checking the exactness of this equation. So both the methods we can solve this problem. So let me do it by the exactness method itself that is first we will check the exactness of this equation. So m will be equal to this and n will be equal to x e power x e power y. So dou m by dou y 
will be equal to now if we differentiate this partially with respect to y we get this to be same and here we have x e power x and uh, I mean uh, yeah these, these two will be treated as constant so it will come as such and the differentiation of e power y is e power y only and now here when we differentiate dou n by dou y that is we are differentiating n with respect to y partially so in, the, in this case uh, I mean uh, dou y by dou n by dou x so differentiating n partially with respect to x y will be treated as constant so we can have that constant out and this will be you we have to differentiate by using Using uv method so it will be x e power x plus the differentiation of x is 1 and e power x will come as such and so we see that here we can uh, see that we can take e power x and e power y common and so we will be having 1 plus x and here also we can take e power x and e power y common and so we will be having 1 plus x that is this 1 plus x here and we observe that dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x so dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x so this equation is exact so because it is exact there will exist a function capital f such that dou f by dou x will be equal to m so let us proceed that so dou f by dou x will be equal to m so from this we get dou f by dou x is equal to what is m m we have written here that is m is this e power x e power y we can take common out multiplied by 1 plus x so i will write this m there so we will be having e power x e power y multiplied by 1 plus x and so from this dou f will be equal to integral e power x e power y multiplied by 1 plus x dou x now we can see that e power y is a constant so it can be taken out because the integral is with respect to x so e power x multiplied by 1 plus x dou x so to solve this we have to use integral u dv method which is equal to uv minus integral v du so u will be equal to 1 plus x so du will be equal to dx and dv will be equal to e power x dx so v will be equal to e power x so we shall substitute these two here so we will be getting e power y multiplied with u v so 1 plus x e power x minus integral v du so v is e power x dx so that is equal to e power y okay actually do this is e power y 1 plus x e power x minus the integration of e power x is e power x only so therefore f is equal to this so if we simplify this further and we will be having a constant with respect to y i mean uh, f of y and so this when we simplify further we get e power y e power x is common so 1 plus x minus 1 plus f of y and so f will be equal to x e power x e power y plus f of y so this is our f now we have to find f of f of y and we have to substitute here to find that what we will be using is we know that dou f by dou uh, y will be equal to n so when we differentiate this f with respect to y so dou f by dou y will be equal to the differentiation of this will be, remain the same because x e power x is a constant differentiation of e power y is e power y plus the differentiation of f of y will be f dash of y now what is dou i mean um, n n is equal to just now we have got it so we have here that is n is equal to x e power x e power y so this one we have to write so uh, dou f by dou y is equal to n so dou f by dou y is this so x e power x e power y plus f dash of y is equal to n which is x e power x e power y and we observe that these two gets cancelled and f dash of y will be equal to 0 which implies f of y will be equal to some constant c so therefore f will be equal to x e power x e power y plus some constant c and so therefore general uh, in generally we can write this uh, solution as x e power x e power y is equal to c and further uh, we can write the power because the 
because we have e base here same so we can write this as x e power x plus y we can add the powers is equal to c and so therefore this will be the solution of the given problem we can also easily solve it in the beginning itself by dividing it by x uh, e power y here okay or after finding the integrating factor we can also divide this equation by x e power x e power y and easily we can solve it but because we are dealing with exact equation we are adopting the method that is prescribed okay uh, hope you have understood this concept thank you